Hey guys, it's Hannah again. I'm going to show you some next steps that you can do with some of the art we made using the cars and other objects in the box or whatever um, type of container you might have used. So we're going to start with these. They have now dried. You want to make sure the paint is completely dry um, and get some markers. So I'm going to use some Sharpies just because I love permanent markers but this might not be what's best for you and your children or whoever might be around. Um, and I'm gonna get some containers to trace around. So circular shapes, here's a square shape. So I'm just gonna use some black and trace around this on top of the painting. Doesn't have to be perfect. And if you don't have markers, crayons are fine, pen, pencil, anything. Anything that works, anything that's handy. I'm trying to consider what you all might have at home so it's easily accessible. And I'm gonna use a square. You can overlap the shapes. Just experiment and see what happens. I'm sorry, I know when I'm making art, I start a sentence and then kind of get focused in on what I'm working on. Um, you can make it come off the edges of the paper, that's usually pretty cool. See how it goes. And just fill, fill the paper up with these shapes if you can. Or just how many ever you want to do. So we have some designs, some different shapes on there. And now we're going to color in just some different sections of it. And I'm gonna use some different colors. You can use colors that happen to match the colors on the paper or use different colors and see, see what's going on with it. Um, so looking at areas that are already enclosed, I'm filling those in. And sometimes this can help us just with containment. Um, we often feel like so much is just going on and it's hard to feel settled. I know right now that might be some of what everyone is feeling with being at home, not having a regular routine. So doing an art activity that offers a chance to contain things, literally, um, kind of gives us that feeling that we're, we're held and secure as opposed to being all over the place. And some of the markers are not dark enough to cover the paint underneath, and that's okay. It's kind of nice to see, see them pop through, just different layers of color, different layers of texture. can add different designs in here. <clears throat> if you're working with a partner, whether it's your child or friend or spouse or family member or whoever, one of you can kind of make the shapes um, and the other can fill in or you can both work on the same paper at the same time. That's a cool way to do a co-created activity. That's what it's looking like so far. Might do a little bit more here. You can do it in a way where it's just loose colors added or a lot of very solid fill in, do different designs. I 
as I always say, just experiment, have fun, practice things. The more you try things out, you know what you like and what you may not like that much. We all have certain materials that we would prefer. Um, we feel comfortable using certain materials. And then other times we feel okay trying new materials out, even if we don't feel confident with them. That's how we learn. And I'm just going to do some shapes along here in this one. Kind of adds a different element to it. marker so it kind of gives that extra shine and glisten <clears throat> and one more color here just for sake of time do some swirls So that's just an example. It may look very different than yours and that's great. We like for things to be individualized. Sometimes we like for things to look like other people's work, but um, there's no right or wrong and it should represent you in whatever way that is, planned or unplanned. So as always, have fun, experiment, see what emerges.